Have you ever thought about... <clears throat> Have you ever thought about the perfect moment, or the perfect place, or the perfect person? And not in a sort of dreamlike state. Well, like you've been to the place, you've met the person, you've had the moment. Have you ever just looked back and thought to yourself, why? And you know, recently I've been alone with my thoughts. And it's weird. For me, being alone with my thoughts is weird. And not in a bad sort of way, but in a, not a quick way, but an efficient way. And it's weird, because I've been experiencing a lot of emotions lately, more than I usually experience. It's not like I don't experience emotion, I experience emotion, I just... I haven't felt it like this in a while. I haven't felt so overcame, overcome, like this in a while. And it's it's led me to think about all these perfect things and all these unattainable places and unattainable goals and with my perfect place, it's it's in Japan. It's Kyoto it's Kyoto Castle. It's part of Kyoto Castle. And the spot holds a certain amount of significance for me. Not because I was in Japan, or because it was insanely beautiful. But because it was the first time I brought a camera somewhere and really, really taken photos. And I brought my camera, it's a tiny little Canon power shot. And I was just taking photos and I realized that I only had 200 megabytes. I had about 200 photos I could take. And I had to savor every minute. I mean, I had to reduce the image quality. I made them 480 by 728 or whatever that old computer monitor size was. I would, I would avoid taking photos of minute things and take them only of the larger scale. And when I got to this garden, this rock garden against this building, there was something about it, and I couldn't, I couldn't define it. I still can't. And I turned up all the image quality in my photo, and I took a five megabyte photo of this garden, and this wall, and this little shrubbery, and it was a rock garden. And it wasn't any real particular design, it was just there. And the wall was just a simple white. But it was beautiful and perfect in every way, in a way I can't describe. And I, th and I think that's the definition of perfection. If you, if you can say why it's perfect, it's not. Because there's always that extra thing, that un undescribable thing about perfection. What about you?